Hey guys, so today is my July favorites video. It's the second day of August, so I wanted to go ahead and wrap up what my favorite products were for last month. So to get started, I have two skincare items, both from Clean and Clear. The first is their Dual Action Moisturizer. I've used this in all my tutorials, or at least mentioned it. And this one is really good because I have oily skin, and this throughout the day does not increase my oil or make my face greasy or anything like that, which is awesome. And it also has salicylic um, acid in it, which is great for if you have blemishes or acne problems, it'll help to treat that. So I've used this at night after I wash my face. I'll put that on, and I'll also put it on before I do my makeup. Just kind of let it sit, and it's really, really good stuff. The next thing was the Clean & Clear Makeup Dissolving Wipes. It's their Facial Cleansing Wipes Oil Free. It says that it removes dirt, oil, makeup, even waterproof mascara. Now, I'll just say right now, I've tried a lot of makeup wipes by different brands that say the same damn thing. And that waterproof mascara is not going anywhere. So this one was definitely a favorite for this month because it did just that. It did one wipe got my face makeup off and then I'd go back in and get my eye makeup off and that waterproof mascara just wiped right off my face and that's awesome so that definitely made favorite for this month next uh, actually the first thing I probably bought this month was the NYX butt naked eyes palette I've talked about this endlessly used it in almost every single one of my videos this month and it's fantastic now I have a full review video on this but just quickly you get a great full mirror up here and then you get 15 full-size eyeshadows. You get like half matte, half shimmer, darks, lights, mediums. Um, it's just an awesome variety. And they blend well. They're very pigmented. I don't see like any excessive fallout or anything like that. It's been great. And then you get this pull-out drawer on the bottom like this. And you get a matte bronzer, a champagne highlight, a peach highlight, and then four blushes. I've used everything down here as well, and it's just as pigmented and good quality as the shadows. So I use this for eyeshadows, obviously, contouring, blushes, filling in my brows, all kinds of crap. And this one is a great value. So, yay! Next is my Benefit Hula Bronzer. I don't know why it took me so long to check this out, because so many people rave about it. But it looks like this cute little box that flips up. You get a little mirror. And it's a matte bronzer. Now honestly, this bronzer is really good for almost any kind of skin tone. Maybe not any, but I see a lot of girls on here with various skin tones. And it works great for contour, bronzer, anything you want to do. Uh, this is a really good one. So it's not streaky or orange or anything. And it's completely matte, so I love that one. Next is my Real Techniques Experts Face Brush. These are the ones that were developed by Samantha Chapman. And she's also Pixie Woo here on YouTube. She's one of the greats, so check her out if you haven't already. But this one is a synthetic brush. It's really dense and small and rounded, so you can get into those kind of under eye, around your nose. And I use this with my liquid foundations. And it's teddy bear soft. I mean, it doesn't streak. It's fabulous. And this is $8 at Ulta, which is also phenomenal. Uh, moving on to the foundation I've been using that brush with is my new Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup. This is kind of a reformulation, um, kind of of their, like, I don't know if it was Stay Fit or their Flex or what it was called, but um, this is a gel based foundation. Um, it's supposed to do really well in high humidity, keep you matte all day long. It doesn't keep me matte as I as much as I expected I guess the coverage is phenomenal it blends out well it doesn't dry too quickly when you're putting it on it doesn't streak and I really do notice that it doesn't break down throughout the day so I've been really really impressed with that and I'll use that um, Real Techniques brush to use with this and it's been awesome another Clinique product is this it was it came with my bonus um, when it was Clinique bonus time and it's a eyeshadow duo in Beach Plum looks like that and this is the color I really want to talk about because that gold for if I'm in a rush or I want something light and simple I'll just sweep that gold all the way across my lid a little bit into my crease and it's kind of a one shadow look and I think it's really pretty um, that is pretty much it for my favorites now I did have a couple misses and it was this NYX shine killer it's like a clear gel and it comes in a little tube like that supposed to, you know, mattify your skin, help shine throughout the day. I didn't notice any change. If anything, I thought it made it worse. 
I was really excited to try this and I just I, I didn't think it did anything wonderful. Next was this Revlon um, Color Stay Overtime Mascara. When I first got it, I loved it, but when you get a new mascara, it usually always works really well. So in a couple weeks, you know, maybe it was because I left it in the car and it got hot, so I don't know. But it got really clumpy. Uh, it was really, really stubborn to get off, almost worse than a waterproof mascara. Which, I mean, they did say that it's over time, so you can wear it, I guess, like 24 hours. I don't know why you'd want to, but that's an option. I don't know, it was just stubborn and it didn't like, separate my lashes very well. That's all I got for the month of July. Got some hits, some misses. If you agree, disagree, go ahead and leave it in the comments section and I'll get back to you. But I hope you did enjoy this video and I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye.